During the next hour, I want to lead you a little bit back to the a theology and the, the reason, the major factors and cofactors associated with periimplantitis, which are uh, important to know in understanding the options and the limits of our therapy, of the treatment we can offer our patients. So let's start again with the uh, biological differences between teeth and implant. And these might be some issues you already know, but be ensured uh, I won't insist on it because it's important for our um, procedure in therapy. First of all, we have the clinical crown, which is obviously performed by the dental technician when it comes to implant. Then we have the soft tissues, and we talk about this transmucosal portion around implants. And then instead of the root, we have the anasal implant portion, which is today most implant types moderately rough in order to have the blood coagulum adhering appropriately. We have major differences both in the soft tissue compartment and also in the bone compartment. And you see from the histology that what we call osseointegration is under light microscope, a direct contact of not only mineralized bone, but also um, bone marrow to the implant surface. It's completely different from what we um, encounter around uh, a natural tooth with a periodontum, and he, you see in this histology the pulp chamber um, emptied and also the enamel um, demineralized from the histologic uh, preparation procedure. You have a healthy uh, junctional epithelium continued by the connective tissue attachment and the alveolar bone. In the compartment of the bone anchorage, we have the periodontal ligament, and you all know this with the plexi, the, the erythrocytes in it, and it's a periodontal ligament that